Hi everyone, it's Kristen here with Piranata Cosmetics. Today I have part one of a two-part video. Part one is a professional work appropriate makeup look and part two is going to be how you can take that professional daytime appropriate look to the evening if you're going out after work and you want to quickly just add a few products to make it a little bit more dramatic. So we're going to start with part one of the look, which is the work appropriate makeup look. So I already have on my priming serum and my moisturizer, so I'm ready to go with makeup. I'm going to begin by applying tinted moisturizer in the shade Very Fair. Just one or two pumps of that. And this is going to act as a liquid foundation but it's just a really light coverage so I like using it underneath the fuller coverage or if I don't need a lot of coverage. First I'll apply the tinted moisturizer as kind of a base and then I'm going to go over that with a little bit of loose mineral foundation to add a bit more coverage. So I have my tinted moisturizer applied. Next I'm going to use our liquid concealer in the shade Very Fair under my eyes. So I just take a little dab to my ring finger. So I dab it underneath my eyes and then I will blend it in. The key with the liquid concealer is to start with less and then add more if you feel like you need a bit more coverage. So when I'm using it as an eyeshadow primer, I just bring it right past the crease, but not all the way up to my eyebrow. And then I want a little bit more coverage for my skin tone, just a bit more evening out. So I'm gonna do a light application of Loose Mineral Foundation. And that is this here, and I'm gonna use the shade Atlantic Bisque. That is a very fair shade as well. So I'm gonna use my flat top foundation brush and then there's a bunch of product in the lid, so I'm gonna apply it from there. And I just like to dab it onto the skin. And I usually focus on the T-zone just to give me a little bit more evening out there. I don't need a lot of foundation everywhere, just right in the center of the face. Now I'm going to quickly sneak away to do my eyebrows. I don't uh, want to include that in this tutorial. I'm going to do a brow tutorial another time. Um, so I'll do my brows and then I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with my brows, feeling a lot more like myself. So let's move on with the makeup look. All right, so I'm gonna take my blush next and I'm gonna use our um, tapered blending blush brush. This is our Lip and Cheek Rouge in the shade Nelly. So I'm gonna use that as my daytime blush and I'm just gonna dip my blush brush in that and sweep it on the apples of my cheeks. Just gives the face this natural flush and you can add to it if you Need a little bit more. It's always better to start with less and then build the product. And for the day look, I'm not going to do any contouring, but I am going to do just a little bit of highlight. So I've got my beautiful new Pro Compact palette. I'm going to be using our highlight powder, pressed powder in the shade Afterglow. So taking my blush brush again, I'm just going to dab that into the highlight powder and sweep that to the upper cheekbones and to the temple area. I'm gonna do a bit of highlight for the daytime because it's just gonna really um, capture the sunlight and add a beautiful glow to the skin. So 
So for my day look, I'm going to be using these three eyeshadow shades on the top there. We have Whisper, Dove, and Harmony, and then I'm going to be using something deeper for the part two, the evening look. So I'll start with Whisper, which is my highlight, so that's that shade there. I'm going to take my contour crease brush and just dip it into the powder. And that's going to be swept right underneath the outer half of my eyebrow. And right on the inner corners of the eyes. For my base color, so the medium shade, I'm going to use Dove, so it's just this matte gray, light gray. I'm going to take my um, blending eye brush, dab that into the shadow, and then I just want to sweep this one over the eyelid. I don't want it to be too heavy of a color, so that's why I'm using the fluffy brush instead of a more compact brush like our duo eye brush. So I'll just sweep that onto the lids. For my day look, I don't want to go too dark with the eyeshadow. So next I'm going to take this shade Harmony and I'm going to use the same brush and sweep that or swirl that into the product and just blend it onto the outer corner and into the crease of my eyes. So this one also just gets swept on really lightly. Like that and it adds a bit of dimension to the eyes and then you just want to blend out the edge. There we go. Same thing on the other eye. All right, there we go. That's the eyeshadow. You can sweep a little bit under the eyes if you want. I think for this look, I'm just going to leave it bare and I'm going to add to that for the evening look. Next, I'm gonna go in with eyeliner. So I'm gonna use our pencil liner in the shade Slate, and that is a gray, like a charcoal gray shade. Um, you can use black or brown, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna just keep it a little bit softer for the day look, and then I'm gonna deepen it for the evening look. So that's just gonna go along um, the lash line on the top, and I'm just gonna leave the bottom bare. There we go, I've got eyeliner. Next I'm gonna apply mascara. So I'm going to use our black mascara and apply that to both my top and bottom lashes. I like applying to both. If you just prefer to apply to your top lashes, that's just fine too. That's very day appropriate. I just like having a little bit more um, definition on my bottom lashes as well, but it's totally fine to just do the top ones. So the final product that I'm going to use for the work appropriate daytime look is a lipstick in the shade Eminence and that's from our lavish lipstick line. So it's just kind of this mauvey nude shade um, but I find that for lipstick it's a very personal product so if you have darker lips you might want to go with something that's not as nude um, if you have darker skin tone definitely going with something deeper in tone so yeah it works for my lighter skin tone and my lighter lip color and complexion and everything but you might want to go for something brighter or darker depending on your lips and your look
All right, so I finished the look. This is my work appropriate professional makeup look for you here. So great daytime look. And next up is how to bring it to an evening look. Thanks for watching.